what's up everybody welcome to my channel in this video today i will be sharing with you two ways which you can automate a store procedure or schedule a store procedure on azure sql server now if you have connected to azure sql server before you would have realized that there is no sql server agent for you to schedule a job or a task unlike a regular sql server you can see the sql server agent that you can use to schedule a task and that is on the Azure SQL Server. So how are we going to do this? Well, in this video, I will be showing you two methods that you can utilize to schedule a store procedure. The first one is through using an existing SQL Server agent. And then the other one is through using an automation account. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do here is that we need to create a link server to the Azure SQL Server from this on-premise server or any other SQL Server that has the SQL Server agent running. Now a link server is pretty much a method that allows you to talk to other servers directly whether it be Oracle Postgres or any other database server using Transact SQL. So in order to create this link server we need to expand server objects right click on link servers select new server specify a name for the link server so i'm going to call it azure db specify your azure server name as the data source and for the catalog specify the database that you want to connect to now the next step is to specify a login account that will be used to connect to the azure sql server database now it's important to note that you cannot use an azure ad account to create a link server now i want to enable this option here to true because if this is not enabled you will be able to execute the store procedure on the remote database. Click OK. Now let's expand the link servers catalog. And here we have our database on the Azure server. So let's take a look at the store procedure that we're going to be using. So it's just a simple insert statement to get the current date and insert it in the test table. And then we're going to be selecting the record in that table. So let's execute it to ensure it's working correctly. So the next step is to create our schedule job. So right click on the server agent, new job. So just give it a name. I'm going to call it execute as your store procedure. Then select step, select new. You can give it a name. So we can call the step insert data. So then we're just going to specify the command that will be a call in the store procedure on the Azure database. Click OK. And then you can specify your schedule. So let's say new. Let's call this daily. And then specify that you want it to execute daily. Specify your time and select OK, no end date. OK. And then here we have four records. So let's execute this job manually. Start job at step. Now let's do a select on the table to validate the store procedure was executed successfully. Now we can see we have a fifth record. So let's log into our Azure dashboard. And then from the search bar, you can search for automation accounts. So I recently utilized the automation account so I can select it from here. Now an automation account allow you to automate repetitive tasks, whether it be on Azure platform, on premise or on other cloud providers like AWS or Google Cloud. And this is not limited to just automated store procedures. You can do a whole lot of other things. Once you're on the automation accounts page, select create new, select your subscription, select your resource group, 
and also give your automation a name so i'm going to be calling this insert data review and create let create so it in deployment is in progress so once that is done select go to resource so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a credential that is going to store our sql server username and password that will be used to connect to our database and search go search for a credential add a credential specify a name for the credential specify your sql username and password once you are done select create so the next thing we're going to be doing is that we're going to be creating our runbook that will be used to execute our store procedure so scroll down and select run books or you can search for it once you're here you have the option to also import run books so let's select browse browse from gallery and these are some predefined run book you can filter it by sql and then you'll see a bunch of sql playbooks that are available so you can always import these and look at the codes to get so, to get familiar with what the run books are like so i'm just gonna select create a run book specify the name that you want let's say dev test you're going to be creating a PowerShell workflow. If you use just a PowerShell, when you execute the procedure, the base on the one that I will be giving you, you won't get any results. Create. So I already have an existing code, so I'm just going to paste it here and rename it to Dev Test. So let's save and we can test it before we do a publish so select the test pane and select start so this is the output from the run book so let's validate this quickly in our sql server select top 1000 this is our new inserted record so let's execute it one more time start so it's completed and we have another record which was inserted successfully So let's edit our workflow. Now we can publish it because this is working fine. So let's click yes. So let me just give you a quick overview of the code. So it's, it's kind of pretty much straightforward. This is our server name, database name store procedure name and this is getting the PowerShell credential that will be used to connect to our database these are just comments here it's initializing the variables that will be used in the connection string to connect to our database here we are specifying the command type which is a store procedure and these are just output values for testing purposes and at this point we then execute our query and this here is just pretty much some error handling check if it executes successfully if not then it will show an error and also here if we have an exception then it will show an exception and then here we complete and close our connection let's close off this next step is to schedule the run book so here we have a option to link to a schedule or if you don't have any schedule you'd have to you need to create a schedule first 
So select link your runbook to a schedule. So as you can see, I don't have any schedule, so I have to create one. So I can call this daily. And then I can specify the start date, specify reoccurring, and then you can choose whenever you want it to occur. So as I said daily, so I'm just gonna select day and it occurs every day expiration if you want it to stop then you can specify an end date so i'm going to be saying july the 29th and create so if we want to remove this schedule from the run book all we have to do is select the schedule and select on link so these are two ways which you can schedule a store procedure in azure sql server database so that's it for now guys, thank you for watching, see you in the next video.